Hello, and welcome to Exposed Urban TV, where we expose everything in urban life in the areas of food, wine, style, entertainment, and the arts. Um, this is episode number one. Today is January 2nd, and I am here with Mark DeJoy. Hi, how are you doing? Local entrepreneur. And uh, we're going to be talking today about some of the things you've seen on ExposedUrban.com and some other things that we haven't yet talked about that uh, Mark and I are going to talk about today. So um, just wanted to give you some some little uh, tidbits. You can use the hashtag on Twitter, um, hashtag ExposedUrban, to talk about today's episode, just so that we can see what you're talking about, what you want to hear more of, what you, uh, what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, and you can write to us at podcast at exposedurban.tv. So uh, send us your thoughts. Or if you want to be a guest on our show, uh, let us know, and we'll have you on. Great. All right. All right so uh, we, uh, we have an email list on exposedurban.com, so you can sign up and get daily updates on our content. Uh, that would be great. We love you guys, and we want to hear more from you and be able to share things with you immediately. I also so, want to know what you think about today's podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Mark already has some opinions about today's <laughs> podcast. So we'll see how it works. <laughs> so let's chat. We, um, we saw this. I actually just traveled to Miami, as some of you know. And uh, I read this on the plane. It was uh, Mark Zuckerberg's uh, Person of the Year in Time magazine. I thought that was quite amazing. The runners-up were uh, the Tea Party and uh, um, the Assange w- w- guy. WikiLeaks. Yeah, yeah. WikiLeaks guy. Yeah. Um, and most most people out in the internet wanted the Assange guy though to be the the cover of this. Yeah, I think Zuckerberg was the guy. Yeah, I do too. I do too. I mean, he has really changed the way we do everything. Right. Um, so we, I, I, you, you saw the sixty minutes interview with him. Yeah, with Leslie Stahl. Yeah. What was that like? I, yeah, he did a pretty good job. I just, he's a twenty-seven-year-old kid who just, he's got the world with five hundred fifty million people following him, and I just don't think he realizes what he, what he's doing. And I yeah. think it's a, I think his idea was a pretty, uh, simple idea, but it's kind of, uh, connecting people over the, uh, digitally was just, it's kind of, it's, it's innate in our DNA of how that, how people like to communicate with each other. Yeah. He found it and then just sort of. Yeah, that's sort of what what this talks about as well, and it's very not a lot about him, the person, right. and a lot about the technology that he brought to us. Right. Um, or it's also that, about how he runs his company too. I mean, yeah. for a guy who sits, you know, sits with all those people, mean, you know, he's six point nine billion is his personal wealth, and he just sort of is pretty nonchalant about. He what doesn't have an it. office. I know. He sits out in the same main room as everybody else. Uh, their COO who worked on, uh, I think, Obama's campaign. Yeah, doesn't have, uh, doesn't have an office either. They all sit out in the wide open. It's yeah. a total uh, flat idea of an organization. Right. Just everybody's the same. It's pretty interesting stuff. So he's got a really interesting view on privacy. I sort of share it where nothing's really private anymore. It's not yeah, in our DNA anymore. You do agree? I do agree. Yeah. Right now, yeah, there's not, no, nothing's private at this point. And you're okay with that? I'm not really okay with it, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm a little uh, older than the rest of the folks on Facebook, so I'm, 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 I'm slow to the, come to the party. How old are you, Mark? Just a little. <laughs> we'll keep that for episode two. <laughs> How's that? Okay. <laughs> um, but, but I, as far as understanding it, I know people my age are, are wondering. My, my wife certainly is concerned about privacy. I have kids who are 12, 13 mm. on Facebook, so that that's one of the issues that, that concerns me. However, if if it, um, I haven't seen it affect me affect me yet but I do I do read and hear about people yeah you know, with, with the privacy yeah issues. weird things affect people I mean some people have been fired because of it there was a Supreme right. Court decision recently where they said you can't get fired for talking about your boss on Facebook, Facebook right <laughs> yeah um, but uh, it's gonna happen more and more though yeah so I think I think you're right my niece just joined yesterday she's 13 years old right. and it was weird it was like okay do I accept this and then she gets yeah. to see my um, Frolicking at turbine wine bar pictures that my yeah. friends post. Or? I don't. I don't um, accept anybody who um, who's less than twenty. Yeah. I, I don't. Sometimes people, even family members. Well, even family members. You're right. I have you know, a nephew. I just. I just don't. I have a couple of nephews who've tried to face uh, yeah. friend me. I just haven't done it. One of the things is that some people on the Facebook page I, that they have a picture of a kid or the, the teenage son or uh, a daughter, I don't friend them because I'm not really sure. But, you know, if, they, if mm. they're two or three steps away from me, I don't really know who they are. Yeah, right. So I'm not sure if it's the daughter or the son or whoever it is. So I just don't, I just don't, I just don't do it because I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not frolicking my MVP. <laughs> <laughs> 
So. Well, you know, not everybody can have the life of, <laughs> of, of, you. Uh, of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, so, so you said something interesting, two it's or three time. steps removed. <laughs> <laughs> so you just accept anybody or are you, do you have to know the person? I look for people who have, who have a mutual interest to in me. Matter of fact, I, I probably, I try to do Facebook friends, three or four people a day. Mm. But I look at the number of people that I have in common with them. When it reaches 20, that's generally when I, when I, um, uh, when I face, when I friend them. So they, yeah, that's just because of this. Some people I don't even know now, you know. And right. In fact, I was at Wal the Walnut Street Cafe this morning. Yeah. And there's a person walked in who I'm sure is on my Facebook, <laughs> and I didn't know. I didn't want to uh, say hello to her because I didn't know her name. I probably right. have to go back and look at it. But I, I think uh, you're stalking her on Facebook. <laughs> or something. Yeah, following her. <laughs> but what I did notice is that um, I went on Facebook and told everybody there's a person in there. Yeah. And I since in an hour and a half I had 18 people comment. Whether they should, we should have went up and talked to her. Whether what I should have done. One person said I was there. Could it have been me? So <laughs> within an hour and a half, that's pre it's pre wow. that's pretty good to have. A, um, those so had you checked in on Foursquare as well? I couldn't get on. Yeah, I did check on. I did check on Foursquare afterwards, but not before. I was on my but way. But there was nobody there. else in there. There was nobody else there. So do you have a lot of friends on Foursquare? I just have about five. So oh, okay. you're one. So. You're one of them. I'm following you around. <laughs> right. just, it's just one more tech piece of technology that I just can't keep up with it all, all at the same time. So yeah, it's crazy stuff. But yeah. Uh, Zuckerberg, Person of the Year in Time magazine. I recommend you pick this up. It's a great article. Yeah. Uh, it's available on the iPad as well. They have a Time app, and you can buy the uh, the the issues for four ninety nine a piece, I believe. Yeah. Um, so, there you go. Um, we wanted to talk about um, my my search, my personal <laughs> search. <laughs> I've been uh, really um, uh, looking for what to call myself. I went to Chicago a few months back, and um, there was a, a awesome hipster community called um, Wicker Park in uh, Chicago. Have you been? Ever been? There? I was there two months before you. Yeah. So yeah. you went to Wicker Park? I don't know if I was at Wicker Park. I went to Centennial Park, which is near the the Art Institute. No, no, uh, no that no, whole no. area. No, that's no, an no. awesome area. Yeah, uh, yeah. Chicago's yeah. great, but they have an area called Wicker Park, and that's where all the hipsters live, or at least people that uh, say they're hipsters. Which I guess hipsters don't say they're hipsters. Right. So these people may be posers. But I, I think mo a lot of people in Wicker Park are actually hipsters. Just like in Brooklyn, there's a lot of hipsters. Um, I'm not a hipster. I've been told my hair kind of rules me out the way I dress. Um, Does my age make me not a your age? Well, uh, no. You can you can be your age and be a hipster. Really? Okay. I think so. I don't think there's an age limit okay. or a requirement. If there is, could you let us know? Do you know anything about hipsters, Ashley? No. No? Yeah. No. So it was either hipster or yuppie for me for a while right. and I just you know you, you said yuppie does that even exist on Twitter when I when I, I don't think that. yuppie I haven't heard that expression in a, in a long really? time I don't think I, I was I was in the age when the were yuppies flying everywhere I didn't. what did they look like um <laughs> you eyes odd they, they were me they, were, they, they had they had they were eyes odd BMW oh. um places they ate and drank and it was, that's kind of what, what described the yuppie yeah, also where they worked and how much money they made proceed you know at that time it was probably 75 grand that was I was just making sure this wasn't an eyes on sweater <laughs> it's not it looks like one though yeah, yeah she wouldn't let you on with an eyes on sweater there's no <laughs> okay. way yeah right. so yeah but yuppies young urban professional I mean it's not a bad word no no um, but it, and but it, it is what we are, a lot of us are in this downtown, downtown area and I'm sure, sure in downtowns everywhere yeah um, it was a connotation, though. Bad, at some time, the yuppie was a bad word. You, yuppie you was a bad. A yeah, well, it still is. Yuppie. Yeah, I don't want to be a yuppie. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm. I'm still searching for whatever that term is. So anyway, I was in Miami recently, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, I saw this word urbano. Never heard of it. I know. <laughs> so it was. It was in the, a restaurant name, urbano, and I, it it resonated with. What does it say to you, urbano? Um, Careful. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I was thinking. It meant urban. It meant um, Central South American influence. That's what, yeah, that's how you know? I mean, yeah. And so I was thinking about our downtown and how we have a lot of restaurants, Guatemalan, Dominican Republic, Jamaican, uh, so Caribbean, Central South American. Um, maybe urbano would be the word for an urban dweller who is attracted to areas where, that have cultural influences from those areas of the world. Okay. How do, you, how do you like that? I'm going to throw it out there on Twitter and see if anybody recognizes it. See if anybody's it's not that. a word. It's not a word. We're <laughs> inventing it right here right on now. Exposed Urban TV. Okay, We're so exposing it. everything, even new words. <laughs> with, no, with no definition. With no definition. <laughs> yeah. 
yet. Okay. So our goal would be maybe in five years from now for that to get into Merriam-Webster, and it was all us. It's just Urbano, right? Urbano. Line of clothes. Yeah, I don't even think it's a word in Spanish. Really? Yeah, I okay. don't think so. Maybe our producer, maybe our producer can get it for the next hey, show. Can you look that up? Ashley, yeah, yes. Urbano. <laughs> um, and then there was uh, Prepster, so a preppy who lives out in suburbia and moves into a hipster community, but again, that's not me. Cause yeah, but they were, that was probably more Izod than... That preppy yeah, look. Preppy yeah, look. That, was, that was more of a... Of a yeah, so you're right. So Yappy was a little bit different connotation. Maybe, right. maybe it was... I'm so I think I have a little bit of a prepster in me, but I'm, I don't live in a hipster community, so really? I'm not a prepster. This may be an, uh, yeah, this may be a seem, never-ending search. You don't, you, you, don't, you don't seem very into the search, Mark. I, I, I'm looking for the search. I don't want some of these, some of these words. You explained verge. I wasn't sure what verge. Verge, yeah. I, I even forget what it means now. On the verge of um, great things. I don't right. know. I don't know. Yeah. So, so Not that I'm not I, interested. I just don't, don't know the lingo. I think I figured out what you are. What am I? A vanguard. Do you really? know what a vanguard is? No, I have no idea. Somebody who is changing things for the better in the world. Okay. In like a social entrepreneurial way. Okay. If that, if that, that I, could, I could go with that. If that See, that's true. a cool term, but I don't have a term like that. Maybe yeah. I'm a vanguard too, but I, I don't think yeah. so. I'm not sure. Urbano vanguard might be the way you, you go to. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so anyway, you can find more on exposedurban.com uh, in the urban life section of the blog. Uh, if you can help me out or help us out in, uh, in figuring out what the hell we are. Yeah, we'd, we'd really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be great. Because at least we'd know. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's really what we wanted to talk about today. We uh, we would, again, really like you to sign up for our email list. Um, you can find that on exposedurban.com in the top left corner. And uh, please keep reading, keep watching, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. See ya.